Okay, so today I got another reaction for you guys. Apparently, Fresh Prince CEO is getting exposed again. Now, I actually didn't see the I've been preach video right away. I saw a bunch of people reacting to it and I saw um I, I seen a lot of nonsense going on. I did some little research and digging and I saw a couple uh, 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 uh fresh and fit podcast episodes and <laughs> I guess DJ Academics was on that and he smoked Fresh Prince. So I saw that clip and was like, you know what? I need to sit down and react to the Advent and Preach reacting to them. All right. So I have a general synopsis of what this video is about, um, but we're going to get to it. All right. If, you, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. If you, you, you're you OG here, you know, act like you got some sense in front, uh, in front of our guest. <laughs> but let's get to the video. How do I start this? <laughs> what, 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 what's this? What, what, why? Why the hesitation? Twin sisters. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. And before anybody gets upset, be like, oh, you guys really wanted us to give them like a courtesy. That's the least we could have done before we do a video uh, shitting on them. So I messaged Walter and I let him know, I'm like, hey man, just wanted to give you a courtesy heads up that we're going to cover you simping for a sugar baby. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yo, <laughs> never mind. Let's just keep so, like you are. I did let him know before we did a video on him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. See, we learn, we grow, we get better. Yo, Preach has the most hilarious laugh. It's like contagious, bro. It's hilarious. So, I'm gonna say this before this whole thing starts. <laughs> 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 too much. I personally do not care who anybody dates. Me, it's just like the need to lie to your fans, the need to be a hypocrite about your own ideals. And so I'm going to just play the video and you guys can see what unfolded. I'm going to just give you guys a quick summary so you guys understand where we're at. All right. Fresh Prince CEO. All right. The big fraud. He himself claims that he's fallen in love with the woman or he's really gotten into her and that she's into him for him. DJ Academics came on the podcast, said, hey, bro, that girl's not into you for you. You said something on like last show when I was on. All right, before we before we get into this, all right. So <laughs> I know it's gonna be some people that want to defend Fresh Prince and stuff like that. So last time they were getting exposed by I've been preaching, I did some research into the guy, and the guy is like one of the biggest frauds I've ever seen. Um, the dude, it's like so many contradictions. I'm not gonna do the research to actually get the videos together for y'all, but you can do your own research. All this stuff is for sure a fact. So Fresh Prince paid for. Uh, a website to write an article about him for him to supposedly he's this super producer in Miami and he's accomplished all these things like crazy stuff that this article has written about him just straight up fake nonsense many people have covered it that happened right but then there was a producer on their podcast that I had seen it was a while ago or a music artist or something like that and the person laughed and like oh you're gonna make me some beats or whatever and Fresh never said like no no for real for real, I do music like I, I legit do music he allowed the dude to laugh him off and joke him out the paint because he knew that wasn't true he just wrote an article just to make himself seem like he's bigger than what he is what, what a lot of these fake girls do is they create an algorithm for themselves so if you search them if you somebody that's not familiar with them none of their controversy if you search them you'll find certain things right fresh prince ceo is different than fresh and fit if you search him you may find fresh and fit but if you're looking for him solo he's going to have things out there that make himself look like this huge huge baller right so it's hilarious that he's getting exposed again because he's he's also he's also said he slept with like over a thousand women right anybody that sees this dude um i call him herman i think his name is actually walter <laughs> he looks like a Herman, so i'm going to forever call him herman but you can look at this dude and see that this dude don't get ladies never been a ladies man um, it's weird seeing him interact with ladies, but we gonna get into this video. Stop talking. About. I just want to give you guys a background of who Fresh Prince CEO is. He's just a fraud. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit alarming. I have to be careful what they want me for. That being yeah. said, this shorty that here, bro. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> that shorty there, bro, wants me for me, hundred percent. All right, you, you, what you, want. you said she was very different from every girl you meet in Miami. When I've heard you speak about every girl in Miami before, you generalized. No, that being said, when I met her. I saw she didn't, hadn't been tainted yet. She hadn't been like in certain circles where like, you know what? Damn, she's gone through the streets. If he says that being said one more time, <laughs> if he says that being said one more time, I, I think- I, 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 Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. Like, yo, a girl comes into Miami and you like, yo, she ain't been tainted yet. She not dealing with this. It just don't make sense, bro. Because it's like, girls, girls can be like this no matter where they at, right? So just because you haven't came to 
to Miami and got ran through, it don't mean the city that you ran from, <laughs> you didn't get ran through. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that just don't make sense to me. That's like such a garbage argument. I, I get what you're saying. I get I, what you're saying. I, I think I'm gonna have to. But, but, but you know, that being said, let's just let the live video play. Okay. <laughs> what does it mean that she's different and not thinking like a Miami girl? Yes. I just pointed you out, I know, like, someone. Okay. I'm like, really hey, hey, this chick right. Here. <laughs> Yo, she is loving academics kill fresh. She's loving it. She's loving it. She said, yes. Explain that because I've heard you say. Yeah. So for example, right? <laughs> <laughs> this girl is sipping tea. This girl is sipping. Yes, please. Explain. Yes, explain. Go ahead. Yeah. You wake up. Mm -hmm. If you watch the interview, one of the mm -hmm. funniest parts is seeing all the Miami women being shat on while Walter's there. Like, the white girl beside me is very different. That being said, she's not into like designer going crazy like, oh, I need to have this and that. It's more like she wants a good time with me. Okay, I don't know why I just got this random link. Miami, Florida. Let's look through. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. 22, still in college. Ooh. <sighs> why do you think she, she's interested in you? Ask her. I was gonna say, can I answer this? Of course. <laughs> um, I feel like the first Merch. day that I met you, having that genuine conversation on the boat. like On a yacht. I, oh, on the boat. <laughs> All right, all right, I gotta explain this. Yo, 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 so how are you gonna say she wants you for you? She's not, hold on, what website was that? Let me see, let me make sure I'm not tripping. Let me make sure I'm not tripping. Cause it looked like she was saying, what? what is that? Okay, so yeah, yeah, okay. So this is the seeking arrangement sites, right? The reason why I know this is because this came up last time when they were getting exposed saying that they wanna take girls' souls and they wanna pay and then they're actually on seeking arrangements, right? So this girl, <laughs> she's not, materialistic <laughs> she wants you for you she ain't been tainted by by miami and this is her bio right so i don't know if they're going to cover it but I'm, I'm gonna read it for you i'm 22 still in college studying business hope to have hope to open i can't even read hope to open my own veterinarian hospital someday and put my business skills to the test i have a golden retriever lab mix who was three years old don't care i try to make him to the dog blah 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 blah, blah, blah. when i'm not with him blah, blah blah don't care about none of that uh so she's seeking an active lifestyle fine dining luxury lifestyle and mentorship very open-minded always down to try something new she put the wrong new she put like new as you knew something and embrace new experiences personality is key if you're a good person and that's what i found attractive wouldn't hurt if you had a good sense of humor either yo why are you on a seek if you're not looking for something materialistic why are you on a website that's dedicated to hooking people up with sugar daddies what are you doing why do you think she she's interested in you ask her i was gonna say can i answer this? <laughs> <Of course. laughs> um I feel like the first Merch. day that I met you, having that genuine conversation on the boat, like on a yacht. I, oh, on the boat. <laughs> was it sixty foot long? Was it eighty five foot? I couldn't even Free tell drink. you. I, see, I am a very big personality person. So, if he came up to me and he just came and was like, "Hey, let me get your number," that's a no from me. The fact that he invited me and he's been he invited me out before. Yeah. And it was just the fact that me and my roommate were sitting at home. Yacht. No, me and my roommate were sitting at home <laughs> yep. and I was like, wow, what are we gonna do tonight? And then like at that moment he texted me and he was, was like, he Hey, do you ride with scooters or get on the yacht? Let's talk about it. And he's right, I'm not a materialistic person at all. I could be if I wanted to. I don't care about that shit. Like my dream car is a fucking Yo, Honda Civic. That sister right there is not buying it. She is so y'all can't even see her. Let me scoot this over. Is this too far over? Why is it cut off part of the corner like that? Hold on, I didn't even realize it was doing that, man. Why y'all ain't? Why y'all ain't tell me, bro? Why y'all didn't tell me part of my screen was cut off? Man, why is it so big now? Hold on, Chief. Why y'all ain't tell me, bro? Mm, y'all got me slipping. <laughs> but okay there you go this sister right here <laughs> yo <laughs> she is not buying none of this nonsense that this lady is talking about all right she is glad that they're destroying this dude fresh as he's yo, they kind of look alike ain't that crazy don't they kind of look alike <laughs> fresh in the, uh, the chick over there but whatever let's get like, to the i end. don't there's nothing about me materialistic hold on, hold on. you said he invited you out before why you didn't go before hold on, hold on, hold on. i was always hold busy or like i was pretty near that hold on, hold on. Yacht, i was right? living <laughs> hold on, wait, wait. No. you see what your problem is you think that because I have clout, everyone wants me for clout. 
However, for you, that's that's true. For me, it's not. I actually have game, bro. Right. That being said, hold on. That being said, right, bro. <laughs> not game. Your experience. <laughs> Yo, they is clowning this fool. And the thing is, bro, I'm telling you, man, when you around thorough dudes, man, when you're around thorough dudes, you don't got to say that you throw. You don't got to say that you, you know, say you got game and you got this, you got that. Usually dudes that talk like that don't have it, right? This is the same type of talk we've seen in like, you know, locker rooms, you know, dudes and, you know, changing at, at gym or whatever. We in the locker room talking crazy, whatever. You hear dudes talk like this. But grown men that actually get women don't talk like this, bro. They don't. It's they right. Don't. With girls, it's tainted because you want to see Yo, for close. Academic is face palming with the microphone. Bro, walk this for me. Horrors in this house. There's some horrors in this house. There's some horrors in this house. There's some horrors in this house. I said certified freak. Seven days a week. There's some wet ass p word. Make that pull out. Somebody sent her two hundred dollars for some Chick Fil A. And we. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. 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 You effin with some wet ass p word. Bring a. Can you explain what? Oh my god. What's on the screen? <laughs> Her getting cash apped. <laughs> that being said. I want to get to know the real you. I don't yeah, want to get to know you from your pocket. Okay, 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 okay. I still don't want question? to. Can I ask you? So, so, you're, so you're essentially basically proving what they say is wrong in terms of you don't give a fuck about a high value man, right? I don't. That's no. What, like that's You don't. No, but that's so, so, it's I care that he has a person. Shorty, that's literally what you all are looking for. Hold on, let me let them let me let them rock because they probably gonna show that. Personality, and I can be around. But him you don't, and don't care if he's a high myself. value man. No, I really don't. I did not care about his chain. I did not care about his watch. No, no, I don't no. care. That Beat it up, N word. Catch a charge. Extra large. <laughs> you lie. This I know this ain't her, bro. I know this ain't her. Tell me this not her, bro. This old man. Come Extra on, bro. Hard. Put this p word right in your face. Swipe your nose like a credit card. I saw she that hadn't been tainted yet. She hadn't been like in certain circles where like you know what? Damn, she's gone through the streets. Dude, she doesn't want club, bro. Honestly, she didn't want to do this live stream. She's doing this for me, so I appreciate her for that. <laughs> do I know you? <laughs> <Don't> oh. <laughs> Bro, bro, this is supposed to be a coach, a dating coach, bro, a business guru, a player, a dude who slept with thousands of women. And my man just shot to sneak a kiss on camera. And the fact that she ducked it means that she really ain't been kissing on this dude in general outside the camera. And, and, and he thought he could just slide one in or whatever. They just chilled. He thought he could get one. Bro, I know. Bro, this is embarrassing. I'm cringing, bro. This is bad, bro. I know you. I do a Kegel while it's inside. I actually have game, bro, right? Damn. Damn. This is your alpha male dating coach. But anyways, listen. <laughs> <laughs> do I know you? I don't know you. Oh, I do a Kegel while it's inside. Spit God. in my mouth. Look in my eyes. This keyword is wet. Come take a dive. <laughs> Beta male. <laughs> Beta male. <laughs> and personally, like I said, sometimes <laughs> let's just watch. Never forget this man has a thousand body counts. Okay? This man slept with a thousand plus women. Okay? Oh my god. Like I don't, Oh my god. This is so hard to watch. We're like only halfway through, bro. Oh my god. This is so embarrassing, bro. Like Oh, bro, this is hard. This is hard. Like, I'm one of those people I hate second. Like, you ever seen somebody do some corny and it's like, it's so embarrassing and they're so un unaware. I said unaware. They're so unaware of how embarrassing it is where it's like extra cringe. Like, you know how you run into the, you, you run into people that sort of like over talk and they talk too damn much and everybody in the room be like, yo, I wish this mofo was shut up. And they're the only one in the room that don't realize that everybody else wants them to shut up. I cringe from stuff like that, bro. Like he is embarrassing himself and he don't even realize it. Like it's so uncomfortable for me, bro. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Why am I so uncomfortable right now? And so how we met, the honest with, truth, no with, cap. With no cap, we met on Seeking. Yeah, so we, we met on there. We definitely uh, spoke. And then I got Instagram, and that was it for like a couple months. 
Yeah. And we, we didn't talk for like, a, for like a minute. We didn't talk for like months because I didn't really want to meet. So I don't know if they're going to cover it. So, okay. So that part of him trying to kiss her, I've seen a snippet of this before. The part with him trying to kiss her was removed. I don't know why they took that out. Maybe it was so cringe that they took it out, whatever it wasn't the point they were searching for. But it was a snippet that played back to back where when he said he met this girl, I think he said he met her in real life or something like that and that she's not like materialistic or whatever. But then he's saying that he met her on Seeking Arrangement. Just do straight up lie. I, I'm not going to edit it in here. I'm sorry. I'm not going to. <laughs> if you want to dig into this, you can. I Like I said, I've seen a few other reactions where people were doing different twists and stuff like that. And he straight up lied about how he met her and he just exposed himself. That's crazy. People, um, for a while, I was kind of taking a break because I had a interesting like living situation at the time mm -hmm. so i was not meeting people but we're talking about the savagery of women nowadays yeah last week you were with this dude this week you're with this dude i see everything <laughs> i'm not gonna say no names but i will say she's here oh and she's beside fresh what oh my bro you like no i can't do this bro can we bro i can't do this <laughs> I can't. please don't say he lying Beta girl. <laughs> please say he's lying oh, what are you she wasn't she wasn't she was ready to date oh dear yeah, she was ready to date uh, she wasn't ready to date let's just keep watching <laughs> Oh, you got something to do with yourself, Miranda? Wait, wait. Oh. I feel like people are trying to expose me, but like, it's you have to like date around. I don't know. Hold She's on, single. you gotta come back. Hold on. Let's normalize playing the bachelorette in your personal life. Huh. You wanna have a hot girl summer? All right, bitch, you're gonna have a bunch of hot girl summers by yourself. Pause, pause, pause. No, don't, don't. All I'm gonna say now, nigga, it's my turn. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, next. <laughs> it's embarrassing for Don't. Oh my God. How can you go from she's different to it's it's my turn like it's God. this wouldn't be as bad if he was like if he embraced who he was <clears throat> like i don't know if you guys know who skippy is skippy is like a 40 year old version um who hasn't had sex yet and he's super cringe but he embraced who he is and yeah it's still kind of cringe and i hate seeing it but at the same time, it's a little less bearable. You have this dude putting on this facade, this bravado, you know, think that uh, pretending that he's tough and that he's like he's he has this game. He's messed with all these girls. He got a body count over a thousand. My dude, uh, Herman, I can tell that you probably only I ain't gonna say he a version, right? But you can tell that he's probably slept with with um um probably less women than he probably can count them on his fingers he can probably count them on his fingers how many women he slept with and i'm not saying that's a, a bad thing right because i can say the same thing i think there there there's something to respect about a man taking care of himself and not having sex with everybody on the face of the planet you know what i'm saying diseases are real um i think soul ties are a thing you can't just really have sex with everybody on the face of the planet you know what i'm saying it's uh, like you just can't do it right i, I think it's a, a a bad thing now i ain't gonna say soul ties is like everybody you have sex with but i think if you like feeling somebody the way that he's feeling her i think it's gonna be hard for him to get her out of his system and i think he's being played but i, I think there's something commendable about a man that isn't out here having sex with everybody man have some type of discipline right because when i see these dudes complaining about child support and women need to get rid of the kid if they get pregnant if the daddy don't want it and stuff like that bro if a woman lays down with a man and decides to keep the child that is her own responsibility you begging her to get rid of the child is you not owning up to what you did your responsibility as a man, if you lay down unprotected and don't pull out, my thing is, even if you wear a condom, pull out, wear the condom, pull out. And especially if you cracking like my guy, like unless you walk around here two inches, you should be pulling out and, you know, pulling back and seeing if the con condom tore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm giving y'all sex education. <laughs> y'all probably too grown for that. But my thing is like, bro, obviously you, you can wear a condom and pull out, right? Even if she's on birth control, you can wear a condom because some women do lie. Wear a condom and pull out, bro. You're going to be straight, dog. You're going to be straight. <laughs> but the thing is, this dude, all he needs to do is embrace who he really is to stop being this fake person. There is nothing wrong with him being this this dude that believes in love and, and, and not actually being a player, especially at his age. Ain't nothing cool about being a player at his age, right? He's too damn grown for that. But 
with him being a, a humble dude, I understand what the podcast is about, but bro, you just embrace who you are, bro. You not built like that. So let's, let's stop pretending. And I'm, I'm not going to say and pretend like I'm built like that. I'm not trying to have sex with everybody under the sun. I mean, I'm married now, so I can't anyways, but you know, even if I was single, I wouldn't be trying to have sex with everybody under the sun. I, I don't, I never saw the appeal in that, bro, but it is what it is, bro. For a man to marry a hoe and try to turn her into a housewife. You know, the scary part, man, Fatality. if you ask your wife for one of these girls, bro, you take it seriously. She can't have a pair bond. So what happens is you wife her up, you take her in, and she's hella hella muzzle on, on her body. You know what I'm saying? And at that point, what what do you get? A used beat up product that can't even work properly. I didn't say nothing. It's Myron. It's not me. It's Myron who's calling him out. Let's go. She she wanna be a bachelorette. Let her let her live her best life. Hold on. Let's normalize playing the bachelorette in your personal life. We do what guys do, and then we get so much shit for it, but Y'all do it, and then you're like, yo, bro, that's- uh, Nah, don't, don't try to use that excuse. Yeah, that's trash, that's trash. Trash is trash, right? I hate when I hear females try to pull this. No, trash is trash. Responsible men can acknowledge that people like, like future are trash, right? Responsible men can say, yo, do like future trash. Do openly say, yo, I don't believe in like taking care of my kids and parents like, yo, I'll pay the bills, I'll give you the money, you do all that, but I'm trying to live my life right now. That's trash, not old enough to be a father. As in recent times, Nick Cannon has become trash. This dude is impregnating women left and right, creating all these single baby mothers. That's trash. We can acknowledge that, right? So stop trying to justify that there are trash men why you should be able to also be trash. Nah, that ain't how that work, man. There, no, I, I need to be able to date around and do this and do that. But just a couple, you know, clips ago, you're you're out here pretending like you love this dude. You're playing this dude. You're playing him. You're not just dating, right? If she was just dating, I wouldn't care. But not only are you dating, you're playing this dude. You're playing him for the clown that he is. Let's let's not try to say, oh, let's let women be at a date too. It's not dating. You're playing people. You're uploading footage of you getting PayPal transactions from simps. Dudes that you and the thing is a lot of times is is one or two dudes that, that pay money to women like this. Dudes that got so much money that just don't care about it, right? You got those dudes who just want it to be transactional. I throw this money your way. You give me what I want. I got so much money, I don't care, right? But then you have simps like him who fall, get feelings, and actually try to go above and beyond to sort of win her over. And she's exploiting dudes like that. Let's not mix you up dating with what you're doing right now. That's not. You're taking advantage of a simp, which is what Fresh uh, Prince is. That's savage as fuck. Like you can't even be a fucking decent woman and not be a slut fuck out of here bro no you dumb bitch i'm not fucking insecure i'm very secure in my goddamn confidence i don't want to fucking wipe up no hoe all right and i'm tired of women out here telling dudes small dick energy small dick energy you're insecure you're insecure you're insecure da, 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 da. bitch i'm not going to the lamborghini dealership with 300 bands for a lambo with 200,000 miles on it bro now, now, I hate, I hate Myra's delivery so much. It's so over the top and ridiculous, but he has a successful podcast and I don't, so who cares what I think? But <clears throat> the thing is, um, I do agree to an extent that like, I personally don't want uh, a, a woman with, I wouldn't want a woman with a thousand miles on her to wife up, right? But I'm also, you heard me a couple minutes ago, I hold myself to a certain standard, right? So I'm not out here with a thousand miles on me. So I get it. Not wanting to wife up somebody that's like that. I just don't necessarily agree with the delivery. It's so childish. <laughs> it's bullshit. I need you guys to hold these women accountable too. They got to meet your metric. We don't want hoes. Okay. You want to be a hoe? That's fine. But you got to lay in your fucking bed and sleep there. Most guys in reality are not going to accept you for being a hoe and put a ring on it. It's always going to fucking bother them. Okay. Don't, don't. That's not true. I know a lot of Sims, bro. I, I ain't gonna say no names. <laughs> I know some bro. So I got, I got some guys. You know what I'm saying. I got some guys that I've seen wife up some, some chicks. They got busy when we was growing up. You know what I'm saying. They got busy, and uh, they have wiped them up. Some dudes don't care. I'm not gonna say most guys, man. That's the problem with a lot of these dating guru dudes, man. They speak in absolutes. Nothing is absolute. Now you can disagree with it morally and say. Hey, I don't think that men should wife up women that don't take care of themselves and don't value themselves. I can respect that. But when you say most men won't do this, most women, women don't do this, bro. There are so many simps. I, if you guys have never heard Lil Wayne's song, Prostitute, <laughs> go check that song out, all right? <clears throat> it, it goes something like, I don't, I wouldn't care if you was a prostitute. 
and you let every man hit that you ever knew, that wouldn't make a difference because it was way before me and you or something. I might be messing up the lyrics a little bit, but essentially that's what it was about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a lot of dudes don't care, right? Uh, especially Sims. But, you know, I, I agree with not wanting a woman with a lot of mileage on her, but to pretend like a lot of dudes don't do it is crazy. Mm -hmm. All I'm going to say now, nigga, it's my turn. I don't even subscribe to this thing. This is their idea. Yeah. These are these are uh, ideologies. By their definition, she is what she is, right? They, they consider her a hoe. That's the red pill movement. That's them. I'm not mad at it. But, Nick, <laughs> Myron is. Bitch, it's bullshit. Use <laughs> sugar sites, right? To hit up girls, and we don't pay a cent, and go with them, we get it for free. So, that being said, she told me, hey, I was on Seeking, and I said, bet, I go in there anyway, talk to chicks. We met on Seeking. Yeah, so we, we met on there. Dang, that's crazy. They covered it in this video, too. That's crazy. I didn't think they was going to get around to it. We definitely uh, spoke, and then I got Instagram. She told you she ain't tell you on a yacht, nigga. Nigga, we went on multiple dates after the yacht. She's like, yo, I gotta be honest with you. Right? Because I don't want to mess up anything in the future. Most <clears> girls <throat> that you meet, bro, are on something, bro. They might not tell you. At least she surely told me, bro. Like, the fact she told me, I was like, but you know what? I respect that shit. If you, if, if I know guys are paying you for, to, to smash. Yo, this, I want to address this, all right? And I'm going to slow down on pausing because I need us to get out of here because we closing in on 30 minutes. Bro. If you are searching for women to not pay for, right? You're you're claiming that you find all these women online and you're not paying a single cent. Why are you doing it based off of a, a, a sugar site where the intention is for women to seek men that is going to pay money? I don't know if it's sugar mamas on there, right? I never been like thorough. I never used the site. I've only seen it when they got exposed last time about it. So if you have a site that's looking up with sugar parents and sugar babies, that's what I'm gonna call it because I don't know if women do it too. You know, they being sugar mamas on there. But if you got a site like this and you're searching for free women, why are you on this site looking for women and claiming that you're not spending a penny and all these women are coming and messing with you for free? Come, it, it, It's crazy. When this got exposed last time, I don't understand why so many people defended these dudes and was like, nah, they said they're not paying a single cent. You're on a site for sugar babies and you ain't paying a single cent, dog. Y'all expect me to believe this? Yeah, I say, no, yo, yo, you can't walk around with, with white powder on your nose all day and tell me that you don't sniff coke. You just can't do it. I'm not going to buy it. I, I'm going to go based off of what I see. So stop lying. Stop saying that you're on seeking arrangements and you're not seeking an arrangement. You're not paying a single penny. You're lying. And their fans believe this. What is wrong with y'all? This is crazy. If you just watch it for entertainment, cool, right? I don't believe anything I've ever seen on Jerry Springer. I don't believe anything I see on Maury. But at the end of the day, it's entertainment, right? If you look at these dudes as entertainment, that's cool. But stop quoting these dudes, bro. All these dating gurus. Stop quoting these dudes. They don't live what they're talking about. Nothing is absolute. Live how you live, bro. P people are, it's, it's, it's a person to person thing. Everybody ain't the same. You can't speak in these absolutes. The advice they give you guys is trash. They're lying. They don't live what they're talking about. So they can't give you proper advice to live off of if they don't live it. They haven't, they don't even have proven results. Come on, bro. You're literally lying saying you slept with over a thousand people. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Putting up Will Chamberlain numbers. Herman is, put, you expect me to believe this dude Herman right here is putting up Will Chamberlain numbers. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. Mm -hmm. That right there is a, is a red flag for me. But what the fuck is she doing on there? Okay. So, 100%, bro. I don't know what she's doing on there. That being said, hey, she might need some money. I don't know what's going on there, bro. <laughs> it was it a red flag when. You found out she's on seeking arrangements and she decided to come link with you only when you were on the yacht. No, 100% no. You're embarrassing. No. In Miami, You're embarrassing, almost bro. every girl you see that's, that's good looking, bro, is on sugar site. I thought she was different than all the other girls that she hasn't been tainted yet. But now she's doing whatever other Miami girl's doing. Okay. So, my honest to God, true body count, bro. No cap. You ready for it? It's over a thousand. I'm dead ass serious. I remember I told you, right? I told you about in Barbados when. So basically, guys, I'm gonna break it down for you, right? So doing live right now. So in Barbados, right? I can tell you before. There's a whole culture of women coming from UK, 
coming from like you know uh, uh, Italy. Beta. Because the way you talk about women, especially because <laughs> yeah, you're in Miami, bro. you just proved that saying that if she's here and she's new, those rules don't apply. You don't talk to just a Miami audience. You talk to an audience that's literally all around the world. So you're pretty much telling your audience, everything I tell you doesn't apply to y'all because you're not in Miami. Mm. I thought you were giving universal rules. That's hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on. We're, we're hold talking on. about her I got right you. Yo, my thing is this. If DJ Academics got to check your game, man, you got a problem. Because let's, let's, let's not gloss over the fact that DJ Academics wiped up Selena Powell. And, and, and the, the chat dudes, y'all could try to kill me for that and say, nah, 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 he was using her, blah, blah. No. Dude gave her his platform. She was staying in his crib for a little bit of time. Like, she was always over there. He he supposedly bought her a G-Wagon that I think he confiscated, you know, after they fell out or whatever. He had this girl around her. He was wifing this chick up, bro. Like, people, was, yo, the chat dude's like, yo, what is she doing here? Get out of here. Leave. And he was still bringing her around, still giving her a platform, still sleeping with this girl, flying out of town, flying her into town, meeting up with her. She was buying him expensive items. He was buying her expensive items. He wifed up a girl just like that, bro, right? The same dude who claimed that he's hard on thoughts. He He's kind of a... a um. He kind of fake too, cause he he he. I think he started the hard on thoughts movement. I think I can't remember, um, but I know he was part of that movement. And like, if DJ Academics is calling you out on your game, bro, you slipping, you slipping, cause he did the same thing. I kind of don't know why he's talking, cause he's done the same thing. Maybe he's trying to teach him to not be like him or something like that. I guess you know whatever. No, no, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. But I'm 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 talking about how you are saying she doesn't apply to many things that you would say about the normal. Because not everybody that follows them are from Miami. That's my point. This yeah. advice doesn't apply to everybody, yeah. right? Because they live in that place where you've been in Miami, it's a weird spot. It's gonna warp your view of ladies, right? Sure. Oh yeah, they're all on sugar babies. It's like, they're all just selling their pussy. Bruh, that's, that's what happens where you live specifically. <clears throat> as far as the whole incident, personally, me personally, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I don't think it's that important. I do think it's more evidence of what we already know about Fresh, which is one, he's a liar. Okay, he needs, he's a fraudulent person, right? Claims to have this body count to sell his courses, claims to have met her and then went on dates, then found out she's on the Sugar Baby site. Then when it comes out that she's on Seeking Arrangements, then he actually looks at live stream where he's like, no, we met on Seeking Life. Everything is smoke and mirrors, right? Which is fine. At the end of the day, if you want to sell an image and you got to lie to do it, do it, okay? But as far as um, you, yeah, you, you're, you're definitely simping. Yeah, I, I mean, you guys know, and I think we all know this. If these two guys were hearing this story from any other man about him being involved with that woman, what would they call the dude? Straight up. Straight up. Blue pill, <clears throat> beta, all the other lame ass terms that they got. Once it's one of them. Straight up. It's fine. You shouldn't date a girl like that. But you know, she did. And that's what you see a lot of from red pill coaches. They're gonna sell you on all these false ideas, right? They'll say, never get married, never get married. Half of them are married. Half of them are married. They'll tell you marriage is a trap, marriage is a trap. They get married. No one, one of them even had the audacity to say like, I don't know, I just, we just eloped, it just happened. What? That's just you, you spent years screaming about marriage and how terrible it is mm -hmm. and that you would never do it and you just mm -hmm. happen to get married? Mm -hmm. What? Then you're gonna go around and call ladies silly and stupid when they dance on single ladies by Beyonce when she's married to fucking Jay Z. But look at you doing the same thing. That's it, man. It's all smoke and mirrors. But even the fans know that. Listen, listen. I, if there's one thing I can say about the Fresh Fit fan base is that they all know that. Yeah, because whenever he says something. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're all the comments like, nigga, we know you don't get any. So I'm gonna say they're not stupid. I think they're really there for the entertainment. But I'm like, why do you need to lie to them? Yeah. She, she, <laughs> rough. You ask her on multiple dates, she never shows up. Then you're like, yo, come on a yacht, and she shows up. Yeah. She's not materialistic. She's not. Not, not. <laughs> Her dream car is a Civic. Listen, and anybody fine, buying and, this and ass? fine and fine dining. Yeah, and fine dining. And getting cash after a bunch of money by dudes who apparently don't want anything in return. Okay. Bro, if you don't get the fuck out okay. of here. Okay. <laughs> that being said. But anyways, let us know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you guys think about these red pill dating coaches? Are any of them really about what they claim? Oh my God. Uh, you know what? I don't even want to go into this. If you made it to this video, thank you for your time. Like, comment, subscribe. 
Don't be like these dudes. <laughs> and I'm out, Chief.